According to clan law, Queen Gruach, the wife of Macbeth, stands as the senior representative of the original royal Scoto Pictish line. Following the death of Macbeth and their son Lulac, Malcolm III seized the crown. However, Clan Macduff claims a royal connection through the marriage of Malcolm III's son, A, to Queen Gruach's only living granddaughter. This marriage united the Macduffs symbolically with the ancient royal line, solidifying their position within the Scottish Kingdom. The Macduffs, represented by the Earl of Fife, enjoyed three notable privileges. Firstly, they were granted the right to lead the vanguard of the Scottish army, a testament to their military prowess and loyalty to the crown. Secondly, the Earl of Fife had the honour of enthroning the King of Scots at coronations, signifying their esteemed position within Scottish society. Lastly, they held the right to provide sanctuary for their kinsmen, even in cases of serious crimes like murder. This unique privilege granted them the power to offer refuge near Abernethy, sparing their kin from severe penalties. Throughout Scottish history, members of Clan Macduff played significant roles in shaping the nation's destiny. Notably, Gillamichael Macduff stood as a witness to the Great Charter of David I to the Abbey of Dunfermline, underscoring the clan's involvement in the affairs of the realm. During the coronation of Robert the Bruce in 1306, Duncan Macduff, Earl of Fife, played a crucial role despite being held captive by Edward I of England. His sister, Isabel, Countess of Buchan, crowned the king, only to face imprisonment for her audacity. The Macduff lineage faced trials and challenges over the centuries. Duncan Macduff's marriage to Mary Montherma, niece of Edward I, and his support of his uncle against Robert the Bruce resulted in his capture and imprisonment until his death in 1336. The earldom then passed to Robert Stuart, later Duke of Albany. However, the family persevered and continued to prosper. In 1404, David Duff received a charter from Robert III for the lands of Mull David, adding to the family's fortunes. The Macduffs experienced a resurgence in prestige when William Duff, Member of Parliament for Banff, was granted the titles Earl Fife and Viscount Macduff in 1759. Notably, he commissioned the construction of the magnificent Duff House, a testament to the family's wealth and influence. Though the house was ultimately abandoned, it has been recently restored and serves as a reminder of their grandeur. The Macduff's ties to royalty were further solidified when Alexander, the sixth Earl Fife, married Princess Louise, the Princess Royal, daughter of the future King Edward VII. This union resulted in his elevation to the rank of Duke of Fife in 1889, marking a remarkable achievement for the clan in a unique provision within the patent creating the dukedom, it was specified that if there were no male heirs, the title would pass to the Duke's eldest daughter, Princess Alexandra, and subsequently to her sister, Princess Maud. This ensured the continuation of the Macduff legacy within the royal family, highlighting the clan's enduring significance. The most extraordinary connection to royalty came when Princess Maud, daughter of the Duke of Fife, married Lord Carnegie, who later became the Earl of Southesk and Chief of Clan Carnegie. As fate would have it, upon the Countess of Southesk's death, the Dukedom of Fife passed to her son, James Carnegie, making him the third Duke of Fife. This remarkable circumstance meant that the heir to the Earldom of Southesk and Chiefship of Clan Carnegie also bore the ancient title of Macduff, surpassing his own father in the peerage hierarchy. Legacy and Heritage Today, Clan Macduff continues to hold a place of distinction in Scottish history and culture. Their lineage, intertwined with the Scottish monarchy, serves as a reminder of their ancestral heritage, and the enduring spirit of the clan. The Macduff's historical contributions, their resilience in the face of adversity, and their significant role within Scottish society have solidified their place as a celebrated clan.